Okay, hey, I want to show you guys something really funny. I just went in the house because I had to go get something. I'm going to be playing with my horses. And I left the tarp out because we're going to do some work with the tarp. And I don't know if you can see what's happening to the poor tarp. It's being murdered. But the funny thing is, this horse that is got the black tail to you, about five years ago when I got him, he was petrified of tarps. And the first thing I did was I took him to this natural horsemanship, so-called natural horsemanship guy. That's a whole nother story. Um, and there was a tarp there, and I didn't know he was afraid of tarps. And oh my gosh, was he afraid. And so this guy, this uh, clinician, ended up working with him, I am not kidding, for over an hour trying to get this horse over the tarp. And he would not get over the tarp. He was trying to every which way but loose and wouldn't, wouldn't change the subject until he got him over the tarp. And finally at the end he went over but with no confidence. And so then uh, we took a lunch break and then it was time for riding and he wanted me to ride over the tarp. Now back then I wasn't as smart as I am now but even my own self-preservation said, you know, I just don't think that's a good idea. That horse didn't look very confident on the ground with the tarp. So I ended up not. And thank goodness I didn't because he was petrified. But as you can see now with proper training, he's gotten over it. And one of the ways that I helped him was with carrots. I'll show you. See if they can figure out that I'm throwing a treat. They might not know that I'm throwing them treats. Um, what I did was I actually put a carrot on the tarp. I mean, it took a lot of approach and retreat too, don't get me wrong. One foot on, one foot off. It was a lot of retreat, which is what the horse needed. Cutter is not afraid of it at all. Um, but then I started showing him that there was something in it for him, something good in it for him. And when he realized there was carrot, that this thing was called a carrot tarp, carrot tarp. <laughs> oh my goodness, his idea of what a tarp is changed tremendously. It became the treat tarp. And he cannot get enough of the treat tarp. He loves the tarp. Um, anytime it's laying out, he'll paw it, he'll step on it, he'll go backward, he'll go forward, here he comes. Woody, that's his ball. Let me, or, let me get it. <clears throat> hey, tarp boy. That's a ball. Um, so yeah, it's just hilarious what the tarp has become for this guy. Go back and see, there's more carrots that you missed over there. And um, it just took it what's in it for him, which is how, you know, most creatures operate. We're creatures. Most people don't want to acknowledge the fact that we are actually animals. Um, of course, we have different brains, but you know they're creatures too. And so once he finally figured out what's in for what's in it for him, and he actually was able to trust me to say, "Hey, I'm not going to ask you to do something that's going to scare you." Now I notice he still has issues with water um, puddles. I mean, big ones because a horse can't tell depth perception. And so you know, to me, that's a trust issue with me. Him saying, "I'm not sure if I trust your leadership." So I need to work on that and also on him and not pushing him over his thresholds and trying to find a way to tell him what's in it. I haven't done that yet. I haven't taken the time. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd shoot this video. The weather's beautiful. We've had a uh, third highest rain record here in Portland, Oregon on record. So it's been a lot of rain and finally dried out today and it's supposed to be nice all week. So I'm going to get some weeding done out here and clean up my arena, have a guy come out and mow my field and uh, play with some horses. We'll see you later.